All right, I have good old John Deere loaded up again. And here's some of the stuff I'm bringing over there to work on the property. So here we go, time to get after it. All right, and here is the rose bush that was right there. It has a long root structure on it. It's a runner from a pre-existing rose bush. So basically the root ran over and then out popped this runner or this shoot. Anyway, we're going to transplant it over to here. And then, bam, that's what it's looking like now. So as you can see, we went ahead and built up the mulch drastically. That way to prevent any weeds from growing. And we also put these bromeliads, not the one I'm holding, but those yellow, white, pink flowers right there. Those are bromeliads. Put those in. And uh, we also put some soil around the plants to go ahead and help kind of kind of help them out a little bit nutrient wise. But here's where we're at. I'm about to go ahead and rake back a bunch of this material, kind of level it out. And the excess material we're actually putting out here in the yard because there's actually some holes in the yard. So maximizing the material that's already here. That way the customer doesn't have to buy additional material. Just reutilizing what's already here. But anyway, really like these familiar. But anyway, what do you think, Pretty Lee? Hey, sweetie pie. I think she did a thumbs up. At least that's what finger we're going to call it that went up just now. But anyway, all right. That's where we're at. Let me kind of step back a little bit. Kind of get a broader spectrum of how it's looking. So there's that side. Here's this side. And that's the old side. Let's see if we can kind of an overall view walking backwards it's always a good idea might be some dog poo or something but anyway that's what we're looking like all right let's continue forward there's the pigeon there he goes just hanging out doesn't like that. Oh, there he goes. All right, a quick recap. We've gone ahead and sprayed this area. Went ahead, spread out this mulch. Did a quick weeding through here. Barely anything. There was five pieces of grass that pulled up. Now over here, we're about to plant this red hot right here on this corner. And there's another one right there. That would be four of them across the front. Give a good color right there. Then we're migrating this way. We're gonna go ahead, leveling this area out, pulling this material out, and bringing this to the backyard. That way to still be able to maximize the material. And then taking this black mulch, spreading it through here. We're gonna try to get to right here today. As you can see, we got that this particular perennial is a Persian shield average mature size four to six feet tall six feet wide I haven't planted one of them right here the other one is right there let's step back a little bit there they are so that way and you're right here in the walkway you can see both of them now this area on the right has four palm trees the one on the left only has two so that causes a different position for the one on the right but this way the one on the left isn't floating out and way out in the open because any further over that one will be just way out by itself any closer on this one and it's a palm right there. So that's the spacing went with. And then of course, as you walk up, 
this one is supposed to mound. So that should basically cover up the whole bottom part of these palm trees. All right, here we go. This is the transformation. So far, we're rounding the corner. We've done some work in the back. However, now we are back up here in the front because the water is all gone. We've brought this down, brought this material to the back, put in a different bed. Uh, that way the red mulch will be under it. That way the customer doesn't have to buy as much black mulch. The black mulch will cover it. But anyway, now we're going to go ahead and fill all of this all the way to right there. Probably just before there. That way this is down and done. So I've already started pulling out a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if I ever actually got any video of this corner, but it was it was thick, real thick with thorns. Um, from the front of the house, that's where I've been bringing some of the material that was mulch. Whenever I bring out some of that mulch area, it's gonna go right here as well. This is such a large area. As you can see, when this grass all comes out and the weeds all come out, what'll happen is it'll drop this down a good bit. That material will help level this out. And then we'll have the black mulch over the top. All right, everyone, this is how it turned out after pulling out all the thorns. Went ahead and got rid of the wisteria that was growing all through the trees. Leveled out this area. Uh, now, of course, that was before we got a whole bunch of rain just now. Now the idea is to go ahead, bring over some more material that's gonna help soak up a bunch of this water. Then I'm gonna go ahead and top all of these plants right here. All right, quick recap. Now we have this plant right here is capped off. Everything is mulched through here, everything's sprayed. We worked around the ants that are around that tree. Um, over here, everything again, mulched, sprayed, trimmed out. All right, here we go. Now we have this area finalized with some mulch. So now all we need to do is put these two plants in the ground and that'll be it. These two are lantana, by the way. Where we want, oh, and here are the two new ones that Sweetie Pie planted today. I think they turned out really nice. So, I guess we can just keep walking around. So, there's how everything is turning out. And this is even after a whole bunch of rain that we had today. Now, I did end up having to do a little sweeping, a little touch up, just because uh, mulch is moving around a little bit in the wind. But overall, I think it turned out really good. What do you think, Sweet Pie? All right, well anyway, that's where we're at. Then also, here's the front yard. Nice cut, trim. And there's even the weed killer around the edge. That way to help have some preventive maintenance right there. And then also around the island, weed killer within there. And there we go, I think it's turning out really good. Oh, and also by the way, uh, we put a bunch of the material that came out of these beds to help level them so we can put the mulch over the top right up here towards the front to help fill in two holes that were in the front and whenever Sweetie Pie ran over it with the lawnmower oh it helped out tremendously that way the the lawnmower wasn't basically going off-road but anyway all right there we go all right so here's the last bit this back corner. Let's go ahead, start spreading this all out. This area over here is done. Okay, go ahead and check, make sure there's no little random weeds popping through, which there shouldn't be, but we might also add a little more mulch over here, freshen it up a little bit, but once we're done over here in this back corner, we'll do a final kind of walk through. There we go. You can kind of see what's going on right there. And here we go. Here we have the back corner area. Went ahead and brought a bunch of the excess sand out of the beds that we're planting some more plants in. Brought that excess sand over here. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and rake it out right here that way to um, kind of level this out a little bit help out with some of the uh, drainage but then also to help it out whenever cutting the grass but anyway that's where we're at on this area all right all right here we go here's the final product everything has been trimmed planted mulched it's getting kind of dark so hopefully you can still kind of see what's going on here over here this area just finished off today took all the weeds out of here did the hedging brought this from the front of the yard brought it back here planted it had the mulch throughout and also used the mulch to kind of give it a little bit of um, a, a slight taper and we water can flow but also hopefully all the water will be absorbed also have this corner and we have over here this area also turned out really well then we have this side right here Now I gotta move towards the front. All right, now here we go. We just planted these two lantana. There's how this area is turned out. Here we have the front area. Coming around the corner. Go to this side. Even though it's dark outside, hopefully the plants all are picking up kind of decent on the video. May have to do another one later. I should be able to see. I wish I would have had a complete before and after.